we both thought he won the leather fight, as did like many other people. Yeah. Did after that fight, were you? What was your emotions immediately after? Obviously, you were gutted, but was there a sense of pride in there as well that maybe you know you boxed really well that night and it was the real dead foot in there? I was devastated. I had a few quid on myself. I yeah, what? I had a few quid on myself. <laughs> That's what we so, have. <laughs> <laughs> so I was uh, expecting to get the bigger lump after, like, after the fight, but uh, listen, it's done. The leather fight's done there. Uh, yeah. Just got to concentrate on Jason Easton now. You said it's done, there's no chance of the rematch or anything? Or? I'll fight with him, but I can't know. It's my aims to me. Uh, there's no way Levin can beat us, he knows, how, he knows himself and uh, this is with we've asked and we never had any response so The Commonwealth title's not a bad consolation though is it really, considering technically it was a, a uh, yes, loss yeah. on your record, yeah. you've gone from that to the oh, Commonwealth? Yeah, uh, for Commonwealth, uh, it's, it's a big opportunity. As I said, as I said there, that was like, you know, the, probably the best great senior and like a lot, you were brilliant that night. You know, you won the fight in our eyes. Like, do you feel like you've got a bit, I know you didn't get the result, but do you feel like you got a bit of justice by getting that, getting the Jason Easton fight, another big fight on the telly, and, you know, yeah. that means more to come from it. Yeah. yeah, I think like, I think the promoters have looked and said like, listen, he will not fight, he deserves a shot, so we've got a Commonwealth title shot. I've got your, uh, got to back to something. Speaking of uh, Jason Easton, like, I've watched him a few times on Channel 5 and stuff and I've seen him getting involved in quite a few tear-ups uh, yeah. against, I don't want to be disrespectful, but probably lesser fighters than yourself, do you know what I mean? So, oh, yeah. do you think you've got you know, the right style to really give him a, give him a good fight? Well, he looks uh, novice uh, so it's not a fight out of box, he might, even, he might even twitch wheel, but there's only going to be one winner on that night. And, uh, just listen, it, it can spoil anybody he wants, but when we're that full close to the ring, he's going to get the biggest shot in his life. How would you feel being a super lightweight? Because obviously, most of your career was up at 147. Uh, we were live, we actually had the arena for the Sam Eggington fight, yeah, and he was considered a big welterweight. Yeah. And yourself now, you've dropped out. Do you feel a bit sharper with that? Or what? I've made, made 10 spawn quite a few times, but on, when you're fighting on the first shows, that I have a lot of opponents coming out, like a day before, and we're going to fight 11 score hits, so I just thought, like, I might as well box out well up here. And uh, when the box and something, you know, I mean, like, when I'd be on, be on the top, uh, I just wasn't it right, that wasn't the top of the night. Uh, no excuses, like you beat that square. Um, Come back to now, got my head back in the job. That leads us on to the question. Um, obviously, you fought in December and you're fighting again at the start of March. How's it been for you, like back to back, quick sort of fight? That's what I like to keep us uh, keeps in the gym. Uh, keeps my head on the job. Because uh, I'm always a fight, like, what's the point of training hard? Just alright, running. But, like, I like to train the EM4 and the Commonwealth Titans, big shot. We were talking a little bit about that in the past and obviously you hit it there, some of your, your frustrations and things. Have you ever been close to not continuing boxing? Oh yeah, right. Um, quite a few times. And like, I think that uh, even the, the Josh Lever fight, like, I think it was like the last eight weeks where uh, Dave had to sit down and said, Glenn, listen, do you want to carry on? He said, you're not interested. And he said, yeah, got to sit down, got to head back to the job. Like, moved on the night. Like still that was only 60% of them back right. So a lot more strong was just there. Uh, got to get win this Commonwealth title and keep after them. Big 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 well, I was devastated, but uh, give a couple of days and uh, just shut it off. <laughs> I couldn't do any more. No, you can't, can you? No. No, you did, you did really well that night, though. It was a great fight, and uh, it is a shame that, obviously, his team took him in a different direction, I guess, because there would have been nobody, I think, that much that that would have not wanted to see it again, you know what I mean? But yeah. it's a shame, but as you say, you've sort of, from that, you've now come out with another really big opportunity, you know? Like, uh, I've just got to uh, drop the two ankles here. Have I? Be Jason Easton. I think you've uh, you mentioned in the past, Glenn, that you've been a bit frustrated, like northeast wise, like you've offered a lot of northeast fighters fights and no one's really stepped up to, or you know, you say no one's really stepped up to take you on. Is that, yeah. is that frustrated you? Yeah? I just think that in the northeast, they're like, um, 
tickets, you've got to sell a few tickets, you know. I would, you basically try to sell the fight uh, to get people to buy them tickets and uh, like to earn both a few quid. Um, like, to, like, I'm up with everyone and even heavy weight just to have a fight. <laughs> and I, like, I still never got anybody to come, so I even when I, I was English champion, like, ask people, like, I put the English title on the line, like, you know, someone would get a chance of being a champion, but nobody showed up, so. Do you feel, Glenn, like, I've just said, like, off camera before, it's been eight years now since you were uh, Do you feel you get the credit you deserve? For a knock, you know, English English champion, British title challenger, prize fighter winner. Like, you've been, I guess, one of the shining lights of North East boxing. Like, obviously, we don't get a lot of exposure up here, as, say, Manchester, Liverpool, and stuff. Like, you've been one of the, like, flag bearers. Do you think you get enough credit for that or not? Not really, because I think, like, I think I'm like the most talented boxer in the North East and I've been there and done everything, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like even the amateur, I might have went to the Olympic stuff like that, but I've got three junior beer fans, a senior fan, I've boxed everyone who can think of. And uh, it's like like as a professional it's just like just went under the light but I box anybody, everyone knows that and uh, especially like there's only ever been one Glen Foot and you tell the North East like I've always been there, and the, the rest of it's down below. It's, that's it's like me. So it's two weeks this Saturday for your fight. How are you? How are you feeling at this point now? Two weeks out. What's two weeks out, great. Uh, I mean, we checked this one. Any good? Uh, perfect. All good. He's so, not going to say no. Is he? <laughs> so I, I'll tell you if I was ever. <laughs> but like seven weeks of training, uh, Dave's happy with perfect. Just shopping up that one and getting the uh, technical right. So like, from now up to the fight, I'm guessing it's going to be easing off a little bit with the train. You've got one more sort of hard week and then... Well, I've still got a bit of weight to come off. Yeah, so, do our train now, go run on the night. Yeah, just shop an hour, just shop the edges up early. And just, the main thing is, just got to get the weight off early. So you really, you want to wake off when you fight for a 12 round fight. Mm. You want to wake off and previous I've been like struggling uh, to make the weight and now I've got pr like I'm perfect bang on weight so I've got no excuses. And then from like a technical standpoint, I'm not expecting you to give too much away but have you looked towards East and you adapted anything that you're going to do or is it going to be sort of same blend foot? Yeah, no, well, listen, I can adapt anybody. Um, we'll have our got two plans, what we want to do and uh, so in, the, in that four post rig it's totally different. Just got to have your head on the job and focus. You mentioned again, Glenn, so off camera before about Dave, Dave Finch, your uh, trainer. How important has he been over the last eight years, like through the good times and the bad? Like, well, what Dave is the, the main base of the uh, club. Um, he knows what he knows what I like and knows what I don't like, so uh, he's an unbelievable coach. I come in the gym every day and we do something different. Even like fitness, it's like some coaches, like, I was training all day. Well, train a couple hours and do some different the best training about. Just a bit of a random question here, but a fight that we were out of yours was the Kirk Gooden's fight quite a long time ago. It was, a, it was an amazing fight that, if you, just to think back to that, like Gunston Fed, I think the place was like sold out and even more, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. how, uh, what are your memories of that night? Well, we used to box at the same club at Sullen and uh, I used to always call him a flybiter. <laughs> but so you start, it was a light weight, he used to always be fast and Never any power. And, uh, when he stepped up the line to fight us, I was like, "Is he joking?" And, like, <laughs> you just mentioned about no northeast fighters. Yeah. Was, I was like, like, "Just caught a light. It was amazing." I was like, "Is he joking?" I can't believe he wants to fight. But this, listen, the four kilo foot was done, and I wasn't hit with my right hand, and I went to physio for about eight weeks, just, like stay riding my pally and the pads, and just just practice with one hand. As soon as I was hitting the pad, I was in my head. I was just pulling back. I was hitting. So I was, I was going over that twice a week. God is hitting perfect. Just more mentally, I think. Mm. And uh, when Kirk Wood stepped up the line, I was like, <laughs> champion. He thought I was done. Uh, he got the biggest shot in his life. Super. Was, it was a great night. That was great. That was it, wasn't it? Fight. It was brilliant. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. More. I think like, no, he's, he's more like that. You've obviously mentioned there, like, some of the frustrations you've had. You know, Darren in the gym as well. He's, well, his room, he's thinking he might fight on the road just to get an opportunity. It seems that they're not, like, very forthcoming. Uh, Good enough for each so you should be fighting each other at the same level. So, just, um, I think you should be stepping up the line and get a good show for Philip because like, there's a lot of uh, a journeyman who like 
they should be in the ring, like, uh, in I think York. That, I think the fights. Sorry, you've summed it up because you've said about, like, you're a good boxer yourself with a decent amateur background, good amateur pedigree. Yeah. And it's as much about selling tickets as it is what you do in the ring. Yeah. Which isn't necessarily fair. It's like who wants to come and watch, watch Glenn Footbox, someone who's had a hundred fights, one, two. Uh, yeah. Like, it's, it's not a cheap thing, it's 35 quid. A ticket, a time you pay, uh, you tell me have a few drinks, stuff like that. It's a day you do, so people want to be, you should be going to like do a box show. Yeah. Say this one on March, it should be like, at least a couple of, no fixed fight is taking each other on. Did you find that harder? Like, obviously, you know, your first few fights, your mates are all coming, but as you said, like, like people are sort of 10 fights in, more fights than that, you know, and they're still fighting six rounders against, like, laughing and that. It must be harder to get to, like, to sell the tickets, you know? It's harder to sell the tickets, it's like, who wants to pick the Majority. We would. If you look, if you look back, you see it was just duck <laughs> What's the point uh, of fighting? Uh, like, like, just even like, like William Warburton. I've never seen him about like even Nathan Hardy. Yeah. They're a good report, they're a good German, yeah. like they come to win. And there's a lot of people even duck them round. Yeah. There's a lot of people in the North East. But as you say, yeah, as well. your mates are uh, whichever boxer yeah. hits, their mates are gonna go and box right. Look at the record, they always yeah. why do I want to he's gonna win, it's why do I wanna see that type yeah. of thing? Especially if you're not a boxing fan in the first if you're only there to see, say Glenn Foot in the corner, you're not interested in anyone else in the card, like it's it's not scared. Exactly. Like, like after you know all that stuff that was like it's like a kid who's had ten fights, one ten. Yeah. Like who's your boxing like this kid has like won about two fights out of hundred. And like what's yeah. the point. I'm like what's the point? There's only gonna be one winner. There's got to be more 50-50 fights in in the uh, Phil's got to push on it more. You said before, like you'd fight anyone, back garden, anywhere, like you'd be on the road, you know, a lot. Is that something you would recommend to other fighters? Just take the chance on the road and be in the away fighter sometimes? So. Like yeah, just this run. And yeah, uh, I said, I swear to went, oh, I'll have it, I. Take it. I said, when is it you went further? I said, tell me ring about what happened. And like, easy. yeah, easy stuff. And like, some people's like, I like, I like to check. Just get them off, fight them, uh, fight anybody. If you think you will not beat anybody, I think people put too much emphasis on like unbeaten records. Keeping keeping a yeah. record. It's nice to have unbeaten record. Right. Yeah, yeah. You've got to take your chance sometimes. What's the point of being in the gym? Like killing yourself for seven weeks. And to box like nobody in the yeah. I just think people's got to start stepping up there. Like, any chance. Uh, any, uh, any thoughts on Saturday? George Gross, Chris Uh George Gross for me. Uh, same for us too. Uh, uh, I'm surprised at how much hype you bank and how much people are, how just many people are sitting you bank. Yeah, just what I think uh you bank you bought Billy Joe Saunders. Billy Joe Saunders out out school. Mm. Uh, I just think Groves is like a league above. That's all right seeing well he's knocking people out but who's he knocked out? Mm. So I'm on Groves. He ties a little bit late on, so I'm just ex that's the boy, and that's what makes it interesting. I'm on a six to four anyway. Grove, so Grove's not allowed. <laughs> uh, just one final message, Glenn. What can people expect from Glenn Foot on March the 3rd? Well, then I will come to Glenn Foot. He'll be uh, ready next week. Fireworks. Excellent. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Cheers. 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 Cheers.